Now, your first warning weather with meteorologist Jason Goff. Welcome back. Tonight's Homes for the Holidays comes to us from Tony Sacco of North Adams, Massachusetts. Tony took advantage of the recent snowfalls and captured a great holiday scene there, tire tracks and all. If you'd like to see your home featured, well, just shoot us an email. The address, holidays at WNYT.com, will feature a different home every night at 5.30 and 11 o'clock through the end of the year. Lots of lights there, Tony. Great shot. Here's another really nice picture that we got here. Beautiful horses. This is out in Glen, out in Montgomery County. Pearl and Minnie. Or maybe that's Pearl and Minnie. I'm not sure which. But regardless, it's a great shot there. We appreciate the folks sending us uh, this shot there. Lots of snow on the trees as well. Just a beautiful picture. Weather photo. That's another place to send your pictures. WNYT.com. What I was referencing before, surely you remember this. Back uh, a year ago, well, 350,000 homes lost power, one half to an inch of ice. It only takes about a quarter of an inch before power lines started to come down. Hi, and welcome back. Let's take a quick shot of our weather photo at WNYT.com. That's where you can send us your weather photos. I showed this last night at 11, but it's such a good shot. I wanted to show it again tonight at 6. The hotelings out in the town of Glen showing Pearl and Minnie, or Minnie and Pearl, I'm not sure which, but uh, two horses out there enjoying the snow with the snow-covered trees in the background. That is a great shot. And again, send us your photos to weatherphoto at WNYT.com. 20 degrees outside right now. Certainly well below average for us here for this time of year, but the snowpack in place. Light winds. Thankfully, the winds came down today and the clear skies are going to allow temperatures to continue to drop off here quite a bit over the next couple of hours before they actually begin to rise a bit overnight. Getting a lot of uh, well-deserved fanfare off to our west. Some lake effect snows uh, over 14 inches out in Old Forge and over two feet across parts of the Tug Hill Plateau. As the lake effect snows, though, really kind of dried up as the winds kind of laid down a little bit and began to veer a little bit more to be out of the southwest. But still, uh, basically what we're talking about now, clear skies, light winds, so the lake effect machine is now shut off. And all we have right now, just a couple of clouds up across the Adirondacks, but most of us right now under clear skies. So the temperatures now that the sun is been down for about two hours will continue to drop off here quite a bit as we